The youthful energy of this exuberant crowd nearly disguises the threat they face for being here, protesting the military coup in Myanmar. This group of musicians have banded together to share a message of defiance. 28-year-old digital marketer Ni Ni Nai believes the dictatorship will destroy his dreams. We have a future. We are, we, are, we are young, we have a future, we have a dream. Many are too young to know firsthand the violent crackdowns on past democratic uprising. But Pew Den Dao Jo understands the risk. <laughs> I'm stressed and not eating, she says, and explains she can't sleep after watching videos of people getting arrested at night. It's under the cover of darkness the military stepped up its enforcement in Kachin State. Dozens of rounds are heard, but it's unclear if it's live ammo or rubber bullets. The military is shutting down the internet at night, and this human rights researcher says that's when things are most dangerous. In the daytime, we can document and record every action of whatever they committed, but at night, without light, uh, how to do a photo shot and uh, video recording. That's why they are doing uh, more crazy and aggressive arrests in the, uh, in, 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 during the nighttime. But there was also an increased show of force during the day. Video on social media shows protesters running away from military forces in Mandalay, where there were reports of injuries today. And tanks are now rolling through major cities. The coup leader says they're trying to proceed softly but effective action will be taken against those harming the country. That is the, just the beginning, but later we will definitely see the bloodshed and the killing. That's why right now international have a, community have a great potential to prevent such atrocity. With military vehicles back on the streets of Yangon for a second night and another internet blackout, tensions are rising. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, London.